This is uh, the net silo. Uh, it's a, a new product here which uh, we've introduced uh, recently here to, uh, to Ireland. They've been on the go I suppose for 25 years in, in Holland. The, the beauty about this is that th there's no concrete required. Um, it can be installed reasonably quick in two to three days. Um, the farmer has to dig out uh, a level site and put down some sand and then what uh, what we're doing then we're coming in and, uh, and forming forming that and building it and putting the liner into it. Now we do as you can see further around there there's a discharge station for emptying it and, uh, and bringing it uh, bringing it out to hook up your umbilical system or your tanker uh, it's easily filled over the top as uh, these men easily easily work here with the, the boom tankers. Okay. And to give you an idea, maybe just on price, um, I suppose as against a conventional concrete store or steel store, it's coming in there somewhere about 40% cheaper than, than anything else. Okay. The, the maximum size that we can do in this is 275,000 gallons. And, and the, the smallest? The, the diameter, the smallest, you're down there to about 50, 60,000 gallons. It, it really suits someone who's maybe in a lease agreement or rented land, whereas if they did have to, if their lease ran out, you know, this can be taken down in a day and, uh, and moved right. then to, so you can, okay. So I'm, I'm right saying there's no concrete base? No concrete base required. It's effectively one liner then, is it one complete yeah. unit so, inside? So what we have here in these steel sections when they're bolted together, here, there's a HDPE liner on the inside, which is put down first, which you'll can see here, which uh, sits against the steel to protect so then the actual liners on the inside of that. And we're working with the Nicoflex liner, which we use for Lagoon liners, which is a, is a very well reinforced uh, product there with great UV protection in it as well. So. Okay, and the steel itself, is that supported into the ground or anything yeah. like that? No, or how no what, what that sits, what we have a small concrete pads which we set at the bottom of every connection okay. here and there's steel rods which connects everything threaded bar okay. which is, goes right around top and bottom okay. and that's what, gives, that's what takes the pressure. Okay. So this, uh, th this uh, uh, net silo has just been, er just been erected so there's still, uh, still a bit of backfilling to come around. Uh, the bottom 12 inches of the uh, net silo is, is buried into the ground so this is what this skirt here is for around the bottom so to protect uh, all the metal work on there at, at the bottom which gives it the strength.